what's a serious event in the world that few people know about? This August a vaccine for cancer will begin human trials in the UK using the mRNA innovations from the COVID-19 vaccine. It should be able to directly target cancer cells and only cancer cells, much, much superior to chemotherapy. A vaccine for Lyme disease has been completed using the same technology. And a vaccine for malaria has been developed using the same technology. One of the silver linings of the pandemic was that it pushed the development of mRNA vaccines ahead by leaps and bounds. Necessity really is the mother of invention, I guess. People in southern Madagascar have been facing a severe drought for the last two years. More than a million left starving. From Madagascar and currently in Madagascar RN, I confirmed this. I've only met one Malagasy person in my life, college friend, and I wish you the best. One of the most unique places on earth, in terms of flora, fauna, and the actual culture of the people. Not a singular event, but that's why it basically forgotten about, the drying of the Aral Sea. It's been great seeing Kazakhstan stepping up, damming, and consequently slowly saving, their side of it with fauna returning to the area. If only Uzbekistan could do the same. This is my country of Kazakhstan. It locate between Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan and assholes Uzbekistan. It was on this documentary I saw. All these mountains of used and unsold clothes from the first world are sold to Western Africa. It's a huge business there. They are then sold to vendors who resell them. The leftover clothes are sent to a dump near the ocean and the pile of them is unbelievable. It stretches for miles. The environmental problems the textile industry causes at all levels from pesticides to water use and chemicals and dyes to transport of clothes is one of the number one pollution sources on the globe. Chile is actually a hub of fast fashion pollution. 60,000 tons recently went up in flames who'd have thought dumping a load of flammable materials like cotton, polyester blends, rayon, and acrylic, often tinged with synthetic dyes into a burning hot desert would end in disaster? The fire resulted in toxic gases caused by melting plastics to be released into the atmosphere, contaminating large swathes of the surrounding area. There is a civil war in Myanmar, formerly Burma, between a junta coup and the people who are anti-junta. The junta are responsible for the coup that saw the deposition of a popular democratically elected politician. It is insane what has happened slash is going on there. The whole military junta in control for decades, followed by voluntary democratic reform with the cooperation of a woman who was jailed for 15 years and is a Nobel Peace Prize winner, only to be followed by the most recent coup. I remember watching that fitness instructor video on YouTube where the military vehicles rolled down the street in the background when the coup started. But the real tragedy is the campaign of ethnic cleansing slash genocide being carried out on the Rohingya people. A Muslim minority ethnic group. Even the now deposed Nobel Peace Prize winner has now been accused of ignoring slash being complicit with the genocide. A dictator's son was just, elected, in the Philippines a few months ago. Like seriously, why do Filipinos do this? A seriously well-done propaganda campaign, vote-buying, and endorsement from other politicians. My education didn't cover the breakup of Yugoslavia. Which is brutal and fascinating. Each country's response, fucked up leaders, and ensuing wars and genocides are all terrible events and I wish I'd known more about it sooner. I went to school with a girl whose family fled Yugoslavia during that time. For reference, we were born in 92 to 93. I remember in middle school, our history teachers took advantage of the fact that was where she was from and educated us on the topic. I don't think I would have learned about it otherwise. Our graduating class was pretty large and there was a huge celebration when she got her citizenship. The whole school district was super invested in this girl's life because of what drove her family out of their home country. Syria. Congo cobalt mines. The cobalt mines are just insane. The entire world should know about this but doesn't. To see the images of them is really sad. Tunguska blast. Meteor blew up a few hundred meters above the forest in Siberia. Flattened hundreds of acres of trees. Only two or three minutes earlier, and it would have airburst over any number of European capital cities. Not just hundreds, but as much as 500,000 acres, or 2,000 square kilometers. Estimated to be about a 12 megaton explosion. The amount of people who don't know what the Seven Years' War was is pretty surprising. While it was mostly between England and France in the 1750s, it was basically World War Zero, being fought by several nationals on a global stage. For people in the US, the French and Indian War was actually just a small part of the Seven Years' War. This was was fought in Europe, the Americas, Asia, and Africa. It lead into revolutions in the Americas and Europe and was a precursor to the Napoleonic Wars. 
The Thirty Years' War and the wars of religion in general were devastating, both by the wartime death toll and the civilian casualties through atrocities, famine and disease. The Carrington Event It was the most severe recorded geomagnetic storm that happened in the 1800s. It was so powerful it set fires and telegram stations. If we had one of equal strength today it would be catastrophic, and I'm pulling a number out of my ass here. The death toll would probably be in the millions because of how much most of the developed world depends on power. Hospitals, aircraft, etc. That's on the more extreme end of course. We get hit by smaller solar flares often and don't even realize. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.